Viewers in this video we will understand how a microphone or mic works, and how many types of mic are there. What kind of mic is suitable for the job? First of all we will understand that there are two types of mic. First is dynamic mic. And second is condenser mic. Let's first understand the dynamic mic. A dynamic mic is actually a speaker. As we know that a speaker produces sound when an electrical signal is received. When such sound signals are received, a dynamic mic produces an electrical signal. When sound waves from the air hit the mic's diaphragm, the coil attached with diaphragm move back and forth over the magnet. That results produces the electrical signal of the sound. Let's open the dynamic mic and understand what's inside. First let's take off its cover. So beneath it we see its magnet. Let's take at the magnet. So below that we see the mic S coil. Let S cut the coil S wire and take it out. So below that we see the diaphragm of the mic. In fact, dynamic mic and speaker are two names of the same thing in according to their use. Let's understand the second type of mic. That is a condenser microphone or capacitor microphone. The working principle of a condenser mic is different from the dynamic mic. Note that whenever positive and negative current is released on two plates of any metal, positive charge is stored on the positive terminal and negative charge is stored on the negative terminal. As these plates get closer to each other, the amount of charge is also increases. The condenser mic works just like that. The two metal plates are very close to each other. The upper plate is flexible so it can move back and forth. When a person speaks, his sound waves hit the upper plate that is called a diaphragm. As results of the sound waves the distance between these two plates decreases and increases, which changes their electrical charge. As a result, the flow of electrons is disrupted, which is taken as sound signals. Let's take a look at a condenser mic. We have a condenser mic. When we take off its dust protective cover, we see its diaphragm. Let's open the mic from behind. Now, take it out. Let S take out its diaphragm. This is his diaphragm, which senses sound signals from the environment. And this is the ring that is used to keep the distance between the two plates. Inside a mic is the first bottom metal plate. It has a plastic ring on it. And on top of the ring is the diaphragm. All of these items are stored in a box for safety. Let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of both microphones. Dynamic mic cannot hear sounds of all the frequencies and also it is not good to feel the faint sounds in the environment. We have to bring this mic very close to the mouth and speak. That's why it's great for outdoor use and to address the crowd. Because it's not so good to feeling the noise around. In the other hand, a condenser mic can sense a wide range of sounds. The sound recorded by it is more detailed, clear and the quality is high. This is why condenser mics are used in studios and controlled environments. In addition, the mic is less affected by the electromagnetic field, due to which it is used in digital devices such as mobile phones and other electromagnetic devices. Hope you found the information about the mic useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please support us if you find this helpful. And to watch more informative videos like this, subscribe to Majid Goria YouTube channel.